We've had a really good week at training and the girls are ready. Yeah, it comes down to 90 minutes of football and who, who rocks up on the day and who plays better. Study sat us down and, and went through some really, really touching stuff. If things don't go our way, like we're the only people that can fix it and looking after like every single player in the team and we're, we're just one group and the results would come. We all, we all want to lift that trophy at the end and, and there's only going to be one winner, so hopefully that's Melbourne City. want to win in this team with everything that's happened to us this year compared to others is just unbelievable. It's not easy to win, especially this season, back to back. You know, you have to go again. Everyone's out to get you. Side, let me, let me. I think the fact that we're even in a grand final is huge for us. We've had, you know, three major knee injuries. And there's a player down. Nat Tobin wants to be in a, a fair bit of distress here, which you never like to see. This is quite worrying for Sydney FC. Yeah, I mean, what, 50th minute, kind of went down. Thought I'd dislocated my knee, but later learned that pop was an ACL. And then, yeah, just been a kind of long road, long recovery. It's been just over six months now, so we're getting there. A win to Nat would mean everything to her. I know she's had a really tough six months, so, yeah, it'll, it'll be huge for her. Excellent, good, for our face forward, good. You know, we've, we've been in seven consecutive grand finals, and I know I've won one out of five, so I definitely want to win this one. Obviously there's a nervous vibe, but I think that's very, very normal. Um, and I very much say that to the girls that I feel nervous for every game. So a grand final, you're, you're bound to feel some nerves, um, but put into excitement because these things don't come around very often. All right, everyone get in. Okay, so now we've finished the story. It's a beautiful one till now, but now we just put the, the last part to it, the final chapter and we celebrate again at the end, okay? So we give everything, we play our way. We just play our way, we win our way, and just leave everything out there. Don't care, just play, today's your day. Let's go girls, come on. The grand final, the grandest stage of all between two incredibly grand teams. Both four-time champions of the Liberty A-League, who will claim the title for a fifth time. So the countdown is on to kick off in the 2024 Liberty A-League Grand Final. The battle for number five is away and Courtney Vine has her say in the opening seconds, winning an early foul. What free kick was that? Corner from Mackenzie Hawksby and she's on delivery with this early free kick. In it swings. Taylor Rotto, the American, gets it away. As far as Margot Chauvet hooked on, Jordan Thompson! Great save! Melissa Barbieri! Good girl! Brianna Policina puts it into the direction of Wilkinson! And a good save by Wyman! Otto, and now Policina! Both keepers have already had a big statement and you can see Wyman's turn to pump herself up. Policina! 
And that will do for the first half. And a game that started with a flurry of attacking and close range saves has now become very much a tug of war where neither side will give a centimetre. Hey, just a couple of the comments. Uh, Calm down, doesn't mean that we take too many touches. Slow it down. We're just calming our actions. Mm -hmm. So we, we open quickly. It's, it's always on to switch hands. Always on. You've got to be aware of fine jumping. Dos Santos a little less so, but the wingers are looking to jump. One minute. gets us underway at the start of the second half of the 2024 Liberty A-League Grand Final. Take it forward. Keep with them, Mina. Keep with. Here's a cross in now, and Jada Wyman is down to the ball. Ekic just stuck behind a couple of defensive opponents. Yeah, really, I'm not surprised to see Shay Connors substituted on. She's got just that extra gear of pace. Here's Indiana Dos Santos. Connors calling for a ball over the top. It's a great pass for Dos Santos. Connors! Shannon Connors! Magic on the bench! Policina. Trying to force it through and took a touch off McLean. Ekic on the tight angle. And now McKenna the sub. Thrilling stuff. Desperate defending. And Sydney FC know how important that goal line stand was. And now McKenna, a teasing cross. Polisina. And where last week she found the corner against Newcastle, this week it's sailing over the crossbar. You mean that shot? Come on! Stoppage time expires. Casey Rober looks at the watch. Sydney FC, top of the mountain. A fifth championship for the Sky Blues. The best of 2023-24. City are a great team and they were on top of us for the majority of that so for us just to get that one moment it's yeah pretty cool. The season's been a bit more of a battle so I had a few tears after the game it was just insane. Um, yeah like I think everyone's just filled a role and Ante's kept us like believing that um, you know it's hard but we're going to get there and uh, I don't think he ever doubted the fact that we were going to get to the grand final. I, I don't know about winning it but <laughs> I'm pretty pretty happy about that too. <laughs> It's an amazing story this season. Um, it's a different story to last season, but it's an incredible story of you know never giving up um, and never saying never. Yeah.